Okay, in this video, we are going to use our calculator to use uh, defined functions and back solving um, to solve for a very difficult question. This was actually the last question, number 50, on a math level 2 subject test. So it's a very difficult problem, um, which we're going to make easier with back solving and, and plugging in and trial and error. So the question says, under which of the following conditions does the expression a minus b over a b is it positive? So under which expressions is it greater than zero? Um, so what we're going to do here first is we're going to define a function. Um, we're going to define this expression here, where we're going to say define is under f4, and it's the first choice. And we're going to say function of a minus b. So we'll do alpha a minus alpha b. I'm sorry. So we're going to say the function of a comma b rather function of a comma b is going to equal um, a minus b so a minus b and that's going to be divided by a b so you have to you put parentheses around the a minus b and it's going to be divided by a times b. And let's make be careful to make sure that we write actually a times b and not just a b. Otherwise, it won't work. Um, the calculator needs that multiplication sign in there. OK, um, so we can see that this the calculator accepted our defined function at a comma b equals a minus b over a times b matches what we have here. Now what we have to do is we're just going to back solve and plug in numbers for all of these choices. So choice a says that 0 is less than a, which is less than b, which means that both a and b are greater than 0, and b is greater than a. So let's just make it easy on ourselves, and let's just choose a equals 1 and b equals 2. And then uh, choice a, the expression, um, will hold. We'd follow the constraints. So for choice a, we're going to say that we're going to plug in the function. We're going to plug in the values of 1 for a and 2 for b. So we're going to say f of 1, comma 2. Uh, we're going to do the same thing for choices B, C, and D. So for choice B, we have both uh, we have A is less than B, which is less than zero. So both choices, um, both A and B are less than zero, but A is a bigger negative number. So let's plug in A equals negative two and B equals negative one. For choice C, again, both choices, both A and B have to be less than zero, but this time B has to be the the greater uh, negative number, the the bigger negative number. So We'll plug in, we'll flip it, and we'll say a function f of negative 1, negative 2. And now the last one, we have a is positive and b is negative. So we'll just say f of 1, comma, negative 1. And now we'll just plug all these options in and see which one of them gives us a positive output. OK, so first one we put in, we'll say for uh, choice a, we'll put in f of uh, 1, comma, 2. 1, comma, Two. Let's close the parenthesis. Let's see if we get a positive result. It's a negative result. We get negative one half. So choice A is out. Now choice B, which is f of negative two, negative one. Let's plug those guys in. Negative two, comma, negative one. I'm sorry. Negative two, comma, negative one. Output again, negative one half. Not what we want. Okay. Choice C, negative one, comma, negative two. Let's try that f of negative 1, comma, negative 2. OK, now we get a positive result, positive 1 half. So choice C is going to be our answer. But just to be sure, let's plug in choice D, which we have f of 1, comma, negative 1. So let's try that. We put in 1, comma, negative 1. And this gives us an output of negative 2. So we can see that choice C is the only choice which gives us a positive result, which is what we were looking for. We wanted a positive output, which is what choice C gives us. And so choice C would be the answer.